All right, out here in the Rockies, it gets cold, especially at night, especially during the winter. So you're gonna have to find yourself some form of shelter if you find yourself stuck out here. If you can't find a shelter, you're gonna have to build one. And while there's many different types, one of the best is the lean-to shelter. Especially if you're gonna be in the same spot for more than a day or two, it'll help keep you warm and keep you dry no matter what the weather throws at you. All right, once you've decided that you're gonna build a lean-to shelter, the first thing you need to do is find a spot that you can that you can uh, build it. All right, so what you're looking for is something fairly level that has two trees that are about four and a half to six feet apart um, that offers uh, a dry spot for you to have as a bed once you're finished. All right, once you find that spot, much like this, first thing you're gonna wanna do is clear it off um, and get all the underlying underbrush out of the way so you're not sleeping on rocks and twigs and such. All right, once you've got your area fairly level, there's two, the next two things you're gonna wanna do are clear any low-hanging branches off the trees that you're gonna use um, to hang your ridge pole. And you're gonna wanna collect um, some dead, or if you have a hatchet, you can cut down green, but some fairly straight sticks that are gonna be used as your ridge poles and your rafter, so to speak, uh, on your uh, lean-to. So once you got those, first thing you're gonna need to do is um, attach your ridge pole and you got get your ridge pole up. laid in. What you want to do is you want to, um, I prefer to lay them in at just below nipple height or right at nipple height. It gives you plenty of room in the lean to to be able to sit up and not bang your head on anything. The next thing you want to do before you lay in any of the ridge poles is figure out which way the prevailing winds are blowing. Um, right now, they're blowing right at my face in the direction the camera's facing. So what I'm gonna do is off the back side of this is that's how I'm gonna lay my, my uh, rafter poles. Okay, now you've got your uh, rafter poles laid in. So the next thing you would wanna do is go collect some pine bows. So I'm gonna go do that and I'll show you what that looks like once it's okay, once here all I am laid about an hour and a half later and the roof is laid in. Got a nice thick layer of pine bows on there. It's gonna act as a windbreak, and also if it snows again tonight, it's gonna stop that snow from getting on me. I also made a nice pine bow bed uh, to give me some insulation from the ground. Um, once this is done, you know, as far as the shelter goes, you've got a, a pretty good shelter. It's gonna keep the wind off of you, the snow off of you, the rain off of you, whatever. Um, you have a, if you have a tarp, you can use that as a roofing material to, to um, put under the pine bows and then use those as insulation over you. Um, if you don't, it's no big deal. As long as, you know, you've got your little space blanket and your survival kit, you know, you've got a nice roasty toasty place to spend the night, uh, especially once you get a fire going, which is the, the next step. All right, now that you've got your shelter built, you've got your bed made, Next order of business is gonna be getting a fire going. You're gonna to wanna to build some kind of fire reflector. Um, I've used green aspens for this one. Uh, the greener, the better. That way um, they don't catch fire. They reflect the heat back really well. Put some stones around it if you can find them uh, to kind of channel that heat back into the shelter. All right, so now we just gotta okay, get the fire we built. built. the fire. Um, showed you how to do that in a separate video, so I obviously didn't show you how to do that here got our shelter built, we're pretty well set for the night. Remember when you're gathering your firewood, gather as much as you think you need. And then when you, you've got that, double or triple that. Because the last thing you want to do is be crawling out of your nice warm shelter to go get firewood because you didn't have enough. So that about covers building the lean-to shelter and the fire. As always, thanks for watching and train to survive.